to be recording his first comedy album, man. But right now, we got him in copyright. So, I want everybody here to start clapping right now for Mr. Zorba, Javon Hughes. So, yeah. let's get the obvious out the way right now. CeeLo had a yard sale and I wrapped the fuck up. <laughs> style is a man. That's what I'm into. My style, my style, my style. My style. I like dressing up, but you know what I get a lot of shit about dressing up? Like some people, the way I dress, some people like to say, oh, you, you're trying to be a pimp. No, I'm not. I've had women say shit to me, though, that fuck me up. They'll say shit like, ooh, I want you to be my sugar daddy. I'm like, baby, I got diabetes. How about the, uh, your gluten-free uncle? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I hate that fuck shit, man. So what else is going on? I am here. I've been here eight years. I'm originally from Kentucky. Yeah, he'll build his red next to me. This is what they look like when they don't breed. Take a good look. As a stereotype of my cousins, that's not true. I've been dating my aunt for a while. I think I should know. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question, folks, before I go any further. Why does every single black butch lesbian in the state of California look like me? <laughs> Just a thought. I heard somebody that does, it's true. I used to have a lesbian roommate. She used to steal all my damn clothes. I once challenged her to a pussy eating contest. She goes, why would you do that? You know I'm winning. I said, even if I lose, did I really lose? That's what I want to know. <laughs> well, I wanted to be in the first place. So I'm in the style, as you can see, and people are like, like, tell me, is this wrong? Today I was coming out of a, a place, I was getting in my Uber, this lady saw me, and she's like, oh, can I take your picture? And I let her take my picture. She goes, I wish my boyfriend dressed like you. And I said, well, you know, you can always trade him in for me. And she gave me her phone number. Does that make me a player or an asshole? Uh, player. Player, okay. The guy say player. Women are like, fuck you, that's an asshole move. It depends on what he's doing. I've had all kinds of <laughs> Because I was, I was in Whole Foods one time and I'm dressed in cranberry. I got on a cranberry and white shirt, cranberry pants, cranberry socks, $200 Italian shoes. I can't pronounce the name of And the cranberry hat and with the cane. And I'm walking and this lady's with her husband. He's in a t-shirt and flip-flops. She looks at me, she looks at him, she looks at me, she looks at him, she looks at me. And she goes, you need to get your shit together. And left him. I know the guy's like, fuck you, I'm in a t-shirt right now. Fuck you. <laughs> Like when it's got quiet in the motherfucker. <laughs> like, what? you. I am a fan of two people I grew up idolizing when I was a kid, Muhammad Ali and Bruce Lee. I love Bruce Lee so much I got into a fist fight over him when I was a kid. Man, this kid got into an argument. He said Chuck Norris was better than Bruce Lee. Stupid ass argument, right? And we got into it. I, was, I mean, I've never fought this hard in my life over a Chinese man. That's how much I love him. It was like, he pushed me, I pushed him on, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Then we fighting. And my mom comes to break us up. And, and we know how you get all emotional about shit that don't mean nothing. And she's like, what are y'all fighting about? I was like, he said, he said, he said that, that Chuck Norris is better than Bruce Lee. And my mom looked at this kid and she kicked his ass. <laughs> You don't say it to no black person. That's like blasphemy, black asshole. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I was in Trader Joe's the other day. I didn't know they had so many homeless people in Trader Joe's. Then I realized those were the cashiers. <laughs> you see them motherfuckers? They ask anyone Hawaiian shirts looking like they need to eat the food they sell it. <laughs> Sitting up in there, and so they so feng shui about your fucking like bagging your shit up. Put your milk over here, your oranges over here. Like, look, I ain't got time for you to feng shui. Put your shit in the bag. Let's go. Why the fuck do they ring that bell too? What's up with that shit? This ain't the notebook. We ain't lost to see what the fuck is that shit about. Why the fuck you gotta ring that bell? They got some crazy shit in there. You see shit in there you never seen before, like chocolate covered spinach. What the fuck? <laughs> shit you ain't never supposed to see together, combined together. I saw something called Gorilla Munch cereal. Did you see it? They got a thing called Gorilla Munch cereal. It's an environmental cereal. They got a gorilla on the fucking box. Now, black people love cereal. We'll eat Count Chocolate, Frankenberry, Lucky Charms, 
Tony the Tiger, dig him, smacks all of them. But I'll be damned if you go into any black household in America and open up the cabinet and see a fucking box with a gorilla on it. Maybe at fucking Clarence Thomas' house. You might. You ain't gonna sit nowhere else. That's some bullshit. And they got them samples that are cool, right? You ever eat them samples up in Trader Joe's? Those samples are cool. They, they have one, a hummus, what was it? A hummus tortilla chip. Like, tasted like a gentrified Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. <laughs> interesting, interesting. I live here in San Francisco. <laughs> I live here, and I, well, like I said, from Kentucky, I see a lot of crazy shit. I live in the Tenderloin. You see a lot of shit in the Tenderloin. Weird shit. Ten San Francisco is the only place that I've been in where you'll see an empty wheelchair and nobody be concerned about where's the person that's in it. <laughs> you understand? It's the only place where I see people sell meat out of a baby stroller. I've seen this weird shit, man. This guy, I, I saw a homeless guy laying down in a puddle of urine, weak chin, buck teeth, cross-eyed head on a shirt that says, I make pretty babies. <laughs> Only in the tenderloin will you see that shit, man. I walked past a guy, he was shooting up, he was tying off, getting high. As he was shooting off, I heard him say this, I don't drink soda because soda's bad for your health. <laughs> Tenderloin, that's the only, that's the only place where I've been called a nigga and then 30 minutes later the person that called me a nigga asked me for change. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, wait a minute, you just called me the nigga. And, and why you gotta bring up old shit? <laughs> Motherfuckers are strange there, man. Crazy, the tenderloin. Tender, tender, ain't nothing tender about that motherfucker. I know that. Have you ever been on Hide and Turk? In the oh. tenderloin? Hide and Turk, the streets Hide and Turk. Yeah. I call it the homeless flea market. Because homeless people find stuff, they sell it to you. They find it on the street and they try to sell it to you. The other day I was walking on Turk and a guy tried to sell me one shoe. Fuck, I'm going to do with one shoe. He said, take it one step at a time. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. That's the limit in the I saw a kid in a baby stroller on an iPad. Here's my point. If you can operate electronics, you walk. At that point, fuck that. Ain't no kid to be that fuck. Fuck that. Walk. Your ass should not be in no fuck. They got the high advanced baby strollers now, too. You ever notice that shit? They got the fucking ones with the rubber wheels. Anybody remember when they just had that plastic shit when we was a baby? I might have one that old. I guess I am. Yeah. Now I had the fancy ones and shit. Fuck you. I had the ones once it broke. Yo, let's get the step in. I walked at an early age. Fuck that shit. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, it's just me. I'll admit something to you. I am a, a man whore. What? Yes, I'm a man whore. I fuck for food. As you can see, I do very well. Because I can't cook. If you can bake, we can fuck. Make me a cake, I'll give you a nut. It's just that simple. Because women, y'all have the most precious thing in the world between your legs. What is it? Vagina. And with this, you can get houses, money, cars. My dick should at least be able to get me a Salisbury steak. <laughs> That's all I'm asking for. Not too much out of life. Not too fucking much. Healthy, healthy. You gotta stay healthy. I uh, went to the doctor the other day. I had a full physical. Everything from head to toe. Believe me, that pap smear was a bitch. <laughs> but I got it done. Uh, you got to be careful. I, I, I'm pre-diabetic. When the doctor told me I was pre-diabetic, I was like, isn't everybody pre-diabetic? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> no, he said, no, you got to change your foods. You got to start eating more red, green, and yellow foods. Now I'm addicted to Skittles. <laughs> what kind of bullshit is that, man? Little health tip from me to you. Do not eat a whole bag of plums unless you got a whole lot of a long time. <laughs> Let's take my advice on that. What they say is good for you, though. Dark chocolate. They say that's good for you, right? Dark chocolate is good in antioxidants, and it's good for your health. I've been telling this to white women for over 30 years. This is like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, man. I used to work, I've had a, a lot of jobs before I got into comedies. I used to work at a grocery store. 
One time I was upstairs cleaning up and the monitor over the whole store was on and I saw this lady in the aisle with all the sweets. I got on intercom, I couldn't resist. I was like, black chick in aisle six, put those ho hoes down. Black chick in aisle six, put those ho hoes down. My boss thought it was funny. Too bad his wife can't take a joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I used to work a lot of jobs before I got the comedy. I used to work at a grocery store. One time, like, like all kind of crazy shit with that, but I had like at a hostel, International Hostel is another job I had. Working there is crazy. I was the only American representing all of us, and people would ask me the craziest shit. They'd be like, are you from Africa? I'd be like, technically, yeah, but I ain't been home enough for 500 years. <laughs> Why do you refer to yourself as African American? What does it mean I'm an American whose ancestors come from Africa? No big deal. But me and this white guy got in an argument about that. He goes, how do you know you don't have any proof? <laughs> now, I don't know what tribe I come from, but chances are with this skin complexion, these speeches, and this hair, I can pretty much scratch out Poland. <laughs> Germany, you know. <laughs> Any English people in here? Let's talk about those fucks for a second. <laughs> they like to give us shit about words. Like what we refer to, like what we refer to, like for instance, we call it the sidewalk, they call it the pavement. We call it a jumper, they call it a sweater. I mean, they give us all kind of shit. I fucked up with the whole joke, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> but no, no, but you get my point. I mean, this Englishman got to, he, he goes, like, uh, he goes, that's the problem with you black Americans. You can't speak proper English. I said, well, had you left me in Africa, we wouldn't have had this issue now, would we? <laughs> Crazy. I saw this in the paper recently. They found the original bus that Rosa Parks was on. And they're going to put it in a museum in Detroit where she's from. And I think that's so cool. But here's the question I ask. Are they going to put it in the front of the museum? <laughs> Martin Luther King holiday. How do we celebrate it now? We have barbecues, right? How, how original. We don't know how to really celebrate it. Here's how I think we should celebrate MLK Day. I think that all white people should go up to random black people and hug them at night <laughs> and hunt us point. <laughs> you'll either make a new friend or you'll get mugged. One of the fucking two. <laughs> One of the fucking two. Uh, they don't have real holidays. They should have real fucking holidays. They always have like Labor Day and Arbor Day and all this shit. Why don't they have a holiday that truly fucking means something? I want to know who was the first woman to decide to give a blowjob? <laughs> Why she ain't got her face on the side of a coin? <laughs> she said, you know, that would be great, you know. I don't know. You know Here's a thought that crossed my mind. Why does every single black male porn star Wear socks. <laughs> and not condoms. <laughs> I'd rather have a bunion than AIDS, is all I'm saying. <laughs> that shit's curable. I got a friend of mine that was in porn, and he told me that there are some white women, at least on film, that refuse to sleep with black men because they say it'll mess up their careers. I'm like, wait a minute, you let a guy gangbang you? You had every orifice of your body filled up like a fucking plug. And you worried about one black dick turning you into the scarlet letter? Fuck out of here. You let a midget eat your pussy. Shut the fuck up. You shouldn't be that fucking wary. I saw one, Lisa, this, this in the Guinness Book of World Records. Lisa Sparks, I know who she is. You guys know the porn star for Lisa Sparks? She did a 919 gangbang. Yeah, I know. The only reason she didn't do a thousand is because she didn't want to look like a slut. <laughs> ah, these goofy thoughts. I just broke up with my girlfriend. I'm out dating again. I went out to this girl the other night. She said, Don't treat me like a date. Treat me like you would treat your mom. So I ain't gonna call her for six months. <laughs> yes, man. I learned one thing you can't use a corny pickup line to meet women anymore. You gotta be yourself. Am I right, ladies? Do what y'all don't, don't want a guy to be himself. One. Have you? Fuck you. <laughs> Be yourself. Because I see guys doing this all the time. I was in a club. I saw this guy trying to talk to this woman. He goes up to her with the pointiest pickup line. He goes, excuse me, sweetheart. Is your father a thief? Then how did he steal the stars out of the sky and put them in your eyes? 
You can never say that to a black woman. You get backlash. Is your father a thief? Is your mother a hoe? <laughs> Buy me a drink. But I tried that when I was in my 20s. I'm in my 40s now. I know black don't crack. But when I was in my 20s, I saw this girl. She was thick as an in and out milkshake. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> she had more curves than Lombard Street. I went up to her and I struck up a basic conversation. I was like, hey, how you doing? Where you from? Can we fuck? You know, basic conversation. <laughs> my boyfriend comes back from the bathroom. You see how big I am? Ain't nothing about me, says lightweight. He made me look like mini me. He picks me up off the stool. What the hell are you doing talking to my woman? I start thinking to myself, what would Popeye do in this situation? Now, what would Popeye do? Eat a can of spinach and whoop ass, right? I didn't have a can of spinach, however. But I did have a pack of Mentos. You saw the commercial. What happened? If you eat a Mentos, you can accomplish the world. I had two of them. Gave them a left cross. As the paramedics rushed me to the hospital with a pack of Mentos up my ass, I was just glad it wasn't a can of spinach. <laughs> I'll leave you on this thought. I'll leave you on this one. Women, stop asking us the ridiculous would you do that question. You know, y'all these, y'all these proverbial questions I come up with. I had an ex-girlfriend one time and she goes, would you suck a dick for a billion dollars? Instantly I said no. She goes, oh, you're so homophobic. And she goes, I would do it. I'm like, of course you would do it. You blew me for a Klondike bar. That ain't no fucking big deal. Anyway, thank you, folks. <laughs> Yes, sir. So, Javon Hughes, the best dress comic to 